Hi, I'm Julie Faithan Balzer, your host for Make It Artsy. Now, as you can see, I'm the only thing that has stayed the same from our earlier series, Scrapbook Soup. This brand new show is dedicated to the artist in you, that maker spirit that extends to every part of your life. Join us this season as we move beyond paper and unleash a new look for crafting with a touch of industrial style. It's all about techniques you can apply to many different projects. Our topic today is books, and we're starting with Joe Rotella, who's going to be here all season with amazing tools. And the first thing he's brought is, well, I hope it's a gift for me, because uh -oh. I, I want to take it home. It's like a terrarium or a garden inside a book. So what we did is take a book and carve a niche in it. And we use that niche as a planter, but you could use it to make a little shrine. You could use it as a book safe. So once you get that hole in the book, it's totally up to you. Cool, so I, we have a lot of tools and I wanna get started. How do we start? So first, I want you to choose a book, even if it has a paper cover, just make sure that you like the hardback cover that's on that outside, that that looks good. Make sure that the spine is nice and stable and it stays together. The first thing we wanna do is take the first couple sheets and just rubber band those out of the way. The reason that we're doing this is later on, we're gonna use those sheets to fold back over the niche to cover up some of our work. Then we need to take this whole stack of book pages and bind them, secure them together. So it helps if you use a little bit of a spacer and we wanna put nails around a half an inch all the way around. Now you could use a ruler, but I make so many of these that I just cut a template out of a piece of chipboard. And no one's gonna see the lines, they don't have to be perfect. These are just guidelines for you, all the way around, half an inch. Now you wanna select a brad that is not gonna go all the way through the pages into the back of the book. Now I know when I think of a brad, I think of the office supply brad that splits open, but you're talking about a nail brad. Tiny, and this is yes. a half inch brad. Now if I try to hammer this, I'm gonna clobber my fingers. So the little trick here is that we're gonna grab it with a pair of needle nose pliers, hold it right on our half inch line, get it started, and pound it all the way through. And you wanna go all the way around. So how many do you think you would put in on each side? Are you doing like every few inches? Well, that's a really good question. I tend to do four on either side here and three here and here because we're gonna do the exact same thing on the back. Ah. And if I do three, I know I'm between my four. I'm not nailing it to the same place. So when you're done, you're gonna actually have this whole thing bound as one solid block with the nails around both sides. Cool. Good. Now, we're gonna scroll saw this out. So in order to get the scroll saw in to the center portion of the book, um, we're gonna have to drill pilot holes, but you can't cut right through your pages, it'll tear. We okay. need to put wood on top. So we can take one of our books, and I've got one right here, already nailed, and we're gonna cut a piece of wood that exactly fits on the front and the back, and that's called a backing board. I've got one here all measured, ready to go. Okay, so I'm gonna put on my safety glasses, of course, because whenever you're working with tools, you wanna do that. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on the table saw. I think you showed this to me earlier. Is it this button here? That's it. There you go. And I'm just gonna know that my thing is all lined up here. I'm gonna push it against it, being sure to keep my hands out of the way. The safety is gonna lift, and I'm gonna very carefully, keeping my hands to the side, push it all the way through. And in no time at all, boom, there you go. I'm gonna have it split, and I'm gonna go ahead and turn that off. Because I know that you have one, right, that's already I cut. I have these already done. But this little eighth inch plywood is perfect task for this. So I've got one cut here. Remember, we're gonna have one on the front and the back. Mm -hmm. Here, what we wanna do is mark one inch all the way around. So again, I've used a template. I love the idea of templates because I do think that, especially for different things that you do all the time, and certainly regular measurements like an inch and a half an inch, you might as well just have those templates around because I use them all the time for paper crafting, for book binding, for all sorts of stuff. There's no reason to measure that over and over. Why and reinvent the wheel, right? So this is the niche we're gonna cut out. Cutting out square corners is a little bit tricky. So we want a rounded corner. So the tip, use anything round, a pill bottle, I was bottle, gonna say, I like your bottle. tool. I think I might have one Look of those. Look at that. I think I took this from you. <laughs> you were Well, then watching. I want it back. So there's how we have our four corners. And you're gonna mark both front and back boards like that. And then we're gonna nail this here. Now the key is to only nail in the center part that we're gonna cut away. Why? Well, because when we cut away, the nails and everything will go with it. If you nail in the outside edge, it's gonna stay attached to your Because I don't actually to want book. to attach the board into the book, I only am using it as a tool. You're using it to hold these pages together 
so that when the saw goes up and down, it doesn't tear the pages. Which makes so such sense because I can see the one that you have that's already nailed together, Got and it. that one just has the nails in the center. So now you've been talking about this pilot hole. What is that? So we can't get the scroll saw blade down in here, right? Because it's right. solid. I don't want to come in from the side because it would tear my book. So I'm going to drill a hole that I can use to put the blade in. I find it easy to drill a hole that I can use to take the blade out as well. So I have the drill press set up here with a quarter inch bit drill. And I should point out, of course, that both of the covers are away from here so that you're not actually going to puncture either of the covers. And whenever you put a drill bit in another tip, make sure you tighten the chuck in at least two holes. So I've got that done. I've got it on a very, very low speed, so I have a high torque. And you're gonna just take your time. We're just through the wood now. You can see the color change, we're through the book. I could feel it go through the book. I could actually book. see the jump when it started going through the book. And I'm gonna go now, I'm just about hitting the backboard. And you're gonna and head it's right pretty through thick. there. There we go. Really cool, you just bring that handle down. I like how you go so slowly, because I think sometimes people tend to, with a drill press, want to just sort of grab it and yank it really fast. And the reason we've done, I've done one hole here, but I'm gonna start here, take the blade, come around, cut, and then I'll drill another hole just about here, so that when I'm done, I can exit the book. Remember the saw starts here? Oh. So I'll exit the book and come out about That's here. That's such a smart so idea. So there's a little bit of an overlap right there. Good tip, there. because I've tried to make it back to the original hole before, and, and it, go it backwards doesn't it's it's terrible. work out. It's terrible. So now we're gonna go over here to the scroll saw. And of course, I don't have a blade in it, because the goal is I have to get the blade inside that hole. So in the blade caddy, I've got a bunch of blades. You always want to face the tip of the blade down. Okay. The saw cuts in the downward motion. Okay. This has about 10 teeth per inch. You want a low teeth per inch when you're going through a thick material. I've got the safety here. Now this takes a little fiddling to get the blade down through the hole. But this is- threaded. It's like threading a needle or something exactly. like that. This is a quick release blade though. At the top, there's a pin. And that pin lets me put the blade right in. Of course, if I can get it lined up and fit it on right the floor. in there. I was going to say it's always hard and it's dark and all that kind of stuff. But while you're doing that, I just want to take a look at the finished project for just one second. And I just want to point out that look how beautiful this is by using this. Uh, I th think this is patterned paper or something on top mm -hmm, of here, mm -hmm. and you get to see some of the book. And I love how some of the pages are loose, so you still get the feeling that it's a book. And at the same time, this dimensional garden growing out of here, I can see that you could change it out. I think you know any kind of uh, these succulents are beautiful in here. You could do cactuses, whatever. And I see you're all bladed up and so ready I'm to go. So I'm going to start. Get up a speed that I'm comfortable with. And I've got my glasses on, so those are my safeties. And it's real easy to just take your time, let the blade do the work. We're going to head over to that line. Straighten it out a little bit. And now we're good to go. That is awesome. And I know I have one here uh, that you already have finished cutting. So when we're done, because the nails are just here, that means this lifts out. This is great fire starter. These aren't attached. They go out They're of the way. They're frames, in my opinion. Paint Perfect. them up and use them as picture frames. Now, if you have a little bump where it starts, you could sand it the old-fashioned way or use a power sander, take that bump out, and you've got a book with a niche. And you can put absolutely anything in it. There Coolest you. idea ever. I love it, Joe.